I'll be honest with you, Mr. Leroy. Circumstances like this, we recommend a transplant. Would you like a Mr. Ken or a Mr. G.I. Joe? Do you have a Barbie? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Chucky Boy coming back at you with some more Chucky updates. Woo! I nearly forgot. We are halfway to Halloween, meaning we are halfway to fall, meaning we are this much closer to finally seeing the Chucky TV series that is up and coming on the Sci-Fi Channel. And today, they went ahead and dropped a couple little teasers. One, showcasing new footage and also showcasing the famous iconic voices reprising their roles for this television series. I'm going to be breaking down all those details involved right now, but I'm going to need you horror fans out there or you Chucky fans to let me know, are you still excited for this Chucky TV series? Are you dying for it to come out on the Sci-Fi Channel? Are you still wondering if he should have chose Mr. Ken or the G? G.I. Joe. Trick question, real answer was choose a Mr. Armstrong. I don't even need to explain, okay? But also don't be forgetting to smash that subscribe button and hit a like on that video. I'm wearing this damn outfit in the middle of June. Es caliente. All right, so we were able to get a couple of teasers for the Chucky TV series because right now on the Sci-Fi channel, that is, if you're watching this video on June 9th, they are currently having a Child's Play Marathon on the Sci-Fi channel in honor of Pride Month because Chucky has somehow become a symbol of pride. Which, you know what, kind of makes sense. Chucky the character was created by somebody in the LGBTQ community and people have really sympathized with the character of Glenn and adopted that character in the LGBTQ. And from what we've heard, the Chucky TV series will be the first to have an open gay character as the star so you know what pride on I sound like a stepfather who's trying too hard all I can say is I'm for it but in the middle of this marathon and them showing each one of the child's play movies they went ahead and played a couple of little teasers for the series the first one I'm gonna showcase to you is one Don Mancini went ahead and released showing the upgraded voices of Brad Dorif the iconic role for Charles Lee Ray and of course Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany and here you go I told you I always come back. What can I say? You just can't keep a good girl down. <laughs> I don't care how many times I have to hear it, Brad Dorif talking like Chucky is always gonna bring me goosebumps, and Jennifer Tilly went ahead and stole one of Chucky's lines. You know what they say, you just can't keep a good guy down. Turned it into a good girl. You know what? Take it, Tiffany. You own everything in this house. I do want to say, though, and I don't mean this with any disrespect at all. I'm just being honest with my thoughts. I feel like you can kind of hear the aging in the voice of Brad Dora. I told you. I always come back. And this Chucky starting to sound maybe a little more grizzled, a little older. But when you really think about it, that this TV series is chronological, meaning that this is still the same Chucky that we got all the way back in 1988, from Child's Play 1 all the way to Cult of Chucky, spanning several decades up into this TV series where Chucky will be found at a suburban yard cell that we've come to find out is his hometown in Jersey, where he's going to go ahead and get revenge on somebody who wronged him in the past while simultaneously we learn new information about Charles Lee Ray's childhood. So even though this Chucky's starting to sound like grandpa, I think just that grizzled weathered down voice is perfect for this Chucky. But maybe I need to check my hearing. Do you guys think Chucky sounds a little older here? Alright, but the next teaser is the more juicier one that actually has footage of the TV series and us finally getting to see our main character in action and even little glimpses of Chucky. I'ma shut up and just roll it. Here we go and Chucky. All right, you gotta admit, that was pretty awesome to look at. Breaking down this new footage shot by shot and trying to get an idea of what is going on here. So, here we obviously, go. we are in the basement of someone's household. Now, this is pretty common with Chucky and has even happened in the past. This is really reminding me of Child's Play 2, the best Child's Play movie out there where Chucky, again, was lurking around in a basement trapped down there. Even feels like and it has the same Chucky. sort of setup with the washing machine in the back. Like, there's some real nostalgia there. If you remember Andy Barkley and Kyle sitting on top of there having a conversation, Andy having his first little cigarette that eventually became something more and Colt and Chucky. Kyle, you bad influence. And also leading to one of my favorite and most iconic Chucky lines. How's it hanging, Phil? No joke. Best Chucky line 
best Chucky look. But we also get a quick glimpse of Don Mancini, the creator of Chucky, looking in and doing his directing here. I do like the shirt he's got on. I've been trying to look for that shirt forever. Don Mancini, how about you throw one my way? The title card of Chucky there looking nice. And then finally giving us a glimpse of actor Zachary Arthur playing our new main character, Jake Weber. This right here is going to be the kid that comes in contact with Chucky and finds him at a yard sale. Now, from everything that we've heard, this kid is a bit of an artist and he's currently working on a statue that requires a bunch of dolls. So he goes out to a yard sale. This house recently just burnt down and Chucky's just right there sitting on one of the tables. He decides to buy it to add it to his sculpture and he'll regret that decision for the rest of the season. Other than that, it's just been small rumors here and there, but this is probably the first time Chucky has come up in a live messing around him probably looking for the doll. I think I like the outfit of the kid. He looks young, but he doesn't look that young because I feel like this kid definitely looks older than like what Andy Barkley did in the first two Child's Play movies. I already did a video doing character breakdowns on all the other kids involved in this TV series, but that will be a big part of it is Chucky haunting these group of kids at a middle school. Who knows if they changed it to high school now because I don't really know if I buy this kids in middle school. Maybe if it's his last year in middle school and he's about to go to high school. But there are some interesting characters that Chucky's going to be messing with and I just like that idea. Chucky going back to a school setting, haunting kids. That is the essence of what the first couple Child's Play movies were and that's the tone and vibe that they're going for with this not doing a lot of the comedic tones or Chucky having his family but putting that aside, like I said, this is still going to tie in to the movie series so you kind of have to be knowledgeable in that. I thought you weren't going to have to know that much but they did confirm the original Andy Barkley's coming back. Kyle is coming back. Even Fiona who has kind of become the new protagonist of the later Chucky movies. They are all confirmed to be part of the cast and even if you look on IMDB they even tell you how many episodes each one of these characters will be in. So like Alex Vincent who plays Andy Barkley will only be in three episodes. Kyle will be in four. Fiona Dorif is looking like one episode. Brad Dorif is even listed for one episode. Now I know that seems kind of scary right there and maybe goes against the credibility of this page but that could be a physical appearance of Brad Dorif as opposed to him using his voice. Of course, Chucky's going to be a big part of this whole thing. But still, there's been interviews where they say that this show is supposed to be friendly to new audiences, so you don't have to have seen all the other Child's Play movies. I just think you get a little extra kicked and boost if you have. And then, of course, your small little glimpse of the good guy doll, Chucky right here, not showing off his face, but showing off his hands, his little costume. Oh, man, Chucky has looked so different. Not really that different, but slightly different in each one of his movies that I wonder what TV quality Chucky's going to be looking like, if he's going to resemble like the Colt doll or something they're going to try to go back to Child's Play 2 doll, which is my dream look for a Chucky doll, but who knows if they could ever do that. I think this little teaser is great, and since the marathon is still going on right now, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the day we get another little teaser, and if we do, you know I'll be on top of that for tomorrow. But I want to hear from you guys. You go ahead and see these two little Chucky TV series teasers. What can you make out for them? What theories do you have? What would you like to see in the show? And overall, just let me know if you're hyped, but don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already for great movie content. But as always, I'm Chuckie Boy. Take care.